nuclear weapons are not irreplaceable. In terms of explosive power, fuel air bombs have already reached the threshold of nuclear weapons. When they explode, they generate temperatures of up to 2,500 degrees Celsius and high-pressure shockwaves traveling at speeds of 2,000 meters per second. Within 100 meters, nothing survives. The key point is that the cost of producing a single FAE bomb is around $200,000. Therefore, in this video, let's discuss whether weapons like FAE bombs, known as subnuclear weapons, can replace nuclear weapons. Compared to conventional bombs, FAE bombs do not contain high explosives. Instead, they contain liquid fuels such as ethylene oxide and ethene, which are highly volatile and flammable. The impact of 1 kilogram of fuel is equivalent to 5 kilograms of TNT explosion, and the range affected by the explosion is more extensive than the latter. In terms of explosive effects, FAE bombs generally require a secondary explosion. During the first explosion, the fuel inside the bomb is dispersed. In the process of dispersion, the fuel forms a fine mist of droplets and mixes with the surrounding air, creating an aerosol cloud with a higher density than the air. The cloud then moves towards the ground. When it is about one meter above the ground, the second level detonator of the FAE bomb instantly ignites the cloud, creating a high temperature and high pressure fireball expanding at a rate of 2000 meters per second. It is similar to a dust explosion in a flour or spinning mill. The pressure at the center of an FAE bomb explosion can reach 3 megapascals, and the pressure at a distance of 100 meters can reach 100 kilopascals. Its destructive power is equivalent to 5 to 10 times that of an equal amount of TNT explosive. Through the effects of shockwaves and overpressure, it can cause widespread damage to enemy personnel. It can also destroy weapons and electronic devices with no or only soft protection. Helmets and protective clothing offer little defense against such destruction. A single FAE bomb explosion can create an excess pressure of 500 kilograms per square meter on an area the size of a fingertip. It can instantly render weapons within an 80 meter diameter useless and penetrate 4 meters of reinforced concrete. Its power is no less than that of a nuclear weapon. Moreover, during the explosion, FAE bombs can also create mushroom clouds. Russia previously released footage of the explosion of the father of all bombs, which leveled a four-story building the moment the mushroom cloud formed. In addition, FAE bombs consume a large amount of oxygen from the surrounding area during the explosion, leading to severe oxygen deprivation for personnel nearby. Even tanks with good protection capabilities can experience engine failure due to oxygen deprivation. If the enemy manages to escape the damage caused by the shockwave, high temperature, and oxygen deprivation in a distant fortified position, they still have to face the problem of ultra-high pressure. The blast wave will rapidly propagate through the shelter, expanding after reflection, and there is no escape. As for whether FAE bombs can replace nuclear weapons, I believe there is absolutely no problem. FAE bombs were initially developed by the United States for the purpose of quickly clearing landing platforms for helicopters in the jungles of Vietnam. The most prominent example is the Blue 82, which was deployed by the MC-130H Special Transport Aircraft. It measures 5.37 meters in length and weighs 6,804 kilograms. Once detonated, it creates a vacuum kill zone with a diameter of 200 meters, reducing surrounding vegetation to ashes. The U.S. military later discovered the operational potential of FAE bombs and used them extensively in the Vietnam War. Subsequently, other countries also recognized the low-cost and high-efficiency nature of FAE bombs. The initial research was normal, focusing on aviation bombs. However, the research direction gradually shifted. Currently, they have evolved into missiles and rockets with FAE warheads. So far, three generations of FAE bombs have been developed. The first generation were developed in the early 1960s. Typical products include the USCBU-55, Blue-72, 
and the Russian ODAB 500 PM. These bombs could only be delivered by helicopters or slow flying aircraft and used dual initiation technology. Research on the second generation products began in 1972, focusing on improving delivery speed. Low speed aircraft delivery was replaced by high speed combat aircraft up to 830 kilometers per hour. Representative products include the US CBU 72 bomb, the helicopter delivered MADFI cluster bomb, as well as the Blue 73, Blue 76, Blue 96, and other bombs. However, it should be noted that both the first generation in the 1960s and the second generation in the 1970s of FAE bombs required two detonations, resulting in low reliability of the weapon system. Therefore, improvements were made to the FAE bomb in the third generation as various countries sought to enhance its effectiveness. The currently active FAE bombs are mostly third generation variants from the 1980s. Starting from the mid 1970s, countries like the United States and Russia began researching the third generation of FAE bombs. They successfully changed the two stage detonation to a single stage detonation by utilizing pressure or chemical means to disseminate the fuel, allowing for a single detonation to achieve the desired effect. The deceleration parachute system was also eliminated, simplifying the bomb structure. Improvements in the detonation mechanism also helped reduce manufacturing costs and process complexity while increasing tactical flexibility. There have also been changes in the delivery methods. FAE bombs are not only airdropped but can also be projected from ground-based equipment. Notable examples include the US-made M72NE rocket and the Russian 9M555 rocket. The TOS-1, for instance, can launch unguided rockets fitted with FAE bomb warheads. Subsequently, submunition and guidance technologies were introduced, enhancing attack accuracy and lethality. The explosive power of the third generation FAE bomb in the United States has reached 9 to 11 times that of an equivalent mass of TNT. The US military's GBU-43 FAE bomb has a yield equivalent to 11 tons of TNT. The Russian ODAB-500 PM FAE bomb, also known as the father of all bombs, has an explosive power equivalent to 44 tons of TNT. The Russian military has stated that the father of all bombs could replace their small nuclear weapons. However, it should be noted that nuclear bombs and FAE bombs are different in terms of their purpose. Nuclear bombs are not intended for use in warfare but rather for ensuring mutual destruction, so there is currently no alternative to strategic nuclear weapons. FAE bombs cannot be used for strategic deterrence. As for tactical nuclear weapons, they have been effectively replaced due to the existence of precision guidance technology. The destructive power of a single FAE bomb, when accurately targeted, is greater than that of tactical nuclear weapons. In terms of manufacturing cost, FAE bombs are much cheaper compared to nuclear bombs. According to publicly available information from the U.S. Air Force, the unit cost of the GBU-43 FAE bomb is approximately $170,000. The key point is that FAE bombs can be used on the battlefield. There are currently no international conventions prohibiting the use of FAE bombs or similar weapons to attack military targets. However, it is important to note that even though FAE bombs have strong advantages, they also have significant drawbacks. The explosion effect can be influenced by weather conditions. In the case of strong winds or heavy rain, the aerosol cloud can be dispersed, resulting in a direct halving of the explosive effect. If the saturation level of the fuel-air mixture is insufficient, the bomb may even fail to detonate properly, requiring the launch of a separate rocket for a secondary explosion. Recognizing this limitation, the United States and the Soviet Union developed thermobaric weapons based on FAE bombs. Although the operational methods are similar, the effectiveness is vastly different. On December 2001, Edward C. Aldridge Jr., the Deputy Secretary of Defense of the United States at the time, announced that the United States had developed a new type of bomb called the thermobaric weapon, codenamed Blue 118B. 
With its destructive power, the Blue 118 be replaced high explosive ordnance and could be used with the GBU-24, GBU-15, and AGM-130 air to ground missiles at that time. Initially, the Boeing produced F-15E was designated as the primary combat platform for delivering the thermobaric weapon, highlighting its significance within the U.S. military. As for the performance of the thermobaric weapon, it can be seen as an alternative to the FAE bomb. Essentially, it is also a type of fuel air explosive with differences in its working principle, explosion effect, and application. The FAE bomb uses liquid fuel, while the thermobaric weapon uses solid fuel, typically containing powders of substances such as aluminum, boron, and magnesium. After the explosion, it forms a cloud of particles that spreads throughout the target area, followed by an instantaneous explosion without the need for a secondary detonation. The explosive material contains oxidizers, generating higher temperatures and pressures than the FAE bomb. Compared to the FAE bomb, the thermobaric weapon has significantly reduced requirements regarding terrain and weather conditions, and its structure is simpler. It can be tailored to different specifications according to the requirements, ranging from hundreds of tons for a super bomb to integration into a few hundred grams as a hand grenade. Russia has developed an individual FAE bomb, known as the RPOA Schmel, which can be carried by a single soldier. It has considerable power, with an explosive force equivalent to a 120mm mortar shell. In urban and mountainous guerrilla warfare, infantry with FAE bomb support can be highly effective, making large armored formations vulnerable. No matter how good the opposing side's special techniques are, a single FAE bomb can end the game. Therefore, the application prospects of FAE bombs are extensive. They can naturally replace tactical nuclear weapons. Of course, the specific usage depends on the choices made by each country.